Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Alan here, LFC Red Chat. Uh, I thought I would just do a little video, seeing I haven't done for a little while. Also gives you a little bit more stuff to comment on, uh, a range of topics for my comments video that's going to be coming up on Thursday. Uh, normally a Wednesday show, but it's going to be Thursday because of the Bournemouth game that is uh, going to be played on Wednesday because I'll be doing a review video for then. It gives you it gives you another day, another video to add comments onto so you can... Um, you know, get your point across on the comment show, which goes for anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes so far in the first two episodes of just all your comments, either on Twitter using the hashtag LFC Red Chat or uh, your comments that you post down below on the videos that I make. So uh, thank you guys for that. If you had watched my my preview show of the Bournemouth game, I had a little bit of a scratchy throat, but it's okay, I got my cup of tea now. We can get dug into this video. So, oh yeah, Twitter at LFC Red Chat if you want to follow me and also subscribe. I'm trying to make a big push to get up to 100 subscribers by Christmas time, New Year. That'd be really nice. Uh, so sit back, relax. It's going to be a couple of minutes. I'll, I'll talk you over if you want to go grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Let's go for it. Um, but apart from that, let's get stuck in. So, news broke this morning that Ochoa. Guillermo Ochoa, of uh, Mexican descent, I guess you could say that, playing his football out in Malaga. Uh, apparently he's been, from what I can tell, all signed and sealed, ready to go, start of January for £3 million to, to Liverpool from Malaga. Um, so I posted that in my Twitter, like I said, at LFC Red Chat. Uh, a lot of people look to be very, very happy about, about this sort of move. I am a little bit too sceptical of it because being out here in the States I get to see a lot of the US men's national team and I also get to see a lot of uh, Mexican games just because ESPN owns the rights to the Mexican games lots of Mexican immigrants that live here in the States you know they love the football, they love the soccer um, so I get to see a lot of it so I've seen Ochoa, Ochoa hasn't been the first pick goalkeeper for Mexico for a little while now, before the World Cup Okay, so he fell out of favour then. He he was without a club, I believe, going into the World Cup. Malaga got to sign him on a free, and apparently now, uh, a couple of months down the line, in January time, the next transfer window, Liverpool are going to buy him for three million, which is interesting, because he, from what I've seen of him, and I've seen a, you know a fair share of him, he is very much like Mignolet. Uh, a fantastic short stopper. Fantastic short stopper. I don't think anybody can doubt Mignolet that. But controlling his box and uh, being a leader there behind, between the sticks is something that uh, you know could be a question very much like Mignolet. So instead of upgrading, I would very much say this was kind of a sidestep move. Are you upgrading Mignolet? Not really. Are you upgrading Brad Jones? Definitely. Now, for £3 million in today's transfer market, that's an okay sum for a goalkeeper. You know, most top-notch goalkeepers, you don't see them move about clubs too much. When you see a talented goalkeeper like uh, Fraser Forster coming down from Celtic, uh, Craig Gordon at the time when he moved from Hearts to Sunderland, uh, I can't really think of too many others and goalkeepers moving around for for X amount of money. You're talking about the eight to to eleven million pounds sort of range. Uh, usually coming from a smaller club, going to a bigger club. Uh, most of the time, they stay stay there for that. You know, when was the last time you saw like a Peter Cech at the height of his his powers or something like that moving from a Chelsea to to Real Madrid, the PSG or whatever for 30, 40 million pounds. And if I missed out, make sure you comment down below. I'd love to know who was the last goalkeeper that moved for that sort of money. But I'm pretty sure the biggest ones was, like I said, Forster uh, in the summer there uh, and a couple other ones going from small club to a bigger club. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's really my views on it at the moment. Um, it's not done and dusted as of yet, but you did see if you follow me on Twitter that Ochoa has now followed Liverpool on Twitter. Um, 
you know, in the social media age that we're in, that probably tells you a lot more than than a press release nowadays. But it looks to be it looks to be a deal that's pretty much done by by reports that are coming out for three million pounds, which was followed Liverpool on Twitter, like I said. You know, um, yeah, I, he's he's more of an upgrade for Brad Jones than he is an upgrade for Mignolet for me. If you don't agree with me, make sure you comment down below. It'll be great stuff for the comment show on Thursday. But for now, I'll, I'll have to wait and see and see how he does. Like I said again, it's a bit interesting that Malaga are willing to just part ways with him after six months. And he hasn't played a lot of games there in Malaga so far this season. So guys, leave your comments down below. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down the video if you didn't like it. Make sure you subscribe up above. Uh, and I'll have a couple more videos coming out this week before the comments show. So have a good one, guys. Stay safe. Be well. See you soon. Bye.